Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I thought I would go back and uh, show again my uh, TFL multi cook pressure cooker which I've had now since September now 2019 and still going strong and still a joy to cook with. I've had many people come over to visit me and have had a look at the cooker themselves and they're actually impressed with what uh, it can do and uh, really pleased with how it's uh, been cooking the food which I've been preparing for him. So uh, let's get into today's video where I'll be pre preparing uh, a quick snack and uh, showing you how it works again. So again we've got the steam release button here to release the steam once the food's cooked and uh, we've got the handle that turns and uh, those are some of the things it can do. Well, as you can see in my other video, I did uh, attach to it uh, a cheat sheet for pressure cooking. So that uh, all these buttons on here now are a lot easier with that cheat sheet that I've been giving you because it shows you uh, some of the functions which actually work better than actual ones that come in a manual, which is absolutely useless with it. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll look inside. You get your uh, plastic cup to put water in, spatula, a tray to uh, place your food on top and stuff like that, and a uh, stand as well, and the base itself, and uh, a nice non stick pot. And there we are. So I thought today we'll cook some rice and uh, some sausages and a bit of uh, salad and stuff like that to begin in. So uh, a brief snack really. So uh, today I'll be cooking uh, as the chicken and sweet corn savoury rice which I do like cooking. It's really nice and really nutritious and uh, really nice to eat. And also uh, these sausages which I got from Asda as well. These are chicken only, there's no pork in there whatsoever for people who don't eat pork. And uh, I'll show you the proof now <laughs> in the uh, ingredients. There's no pork in there whatsoever. And it tastes nice as well, very nice. Okay then, so uh, let's begin then. So first of all, we're going to put the water in the bottom. That might need a run. There we go. Now we're going to place the rice in the water. Like that. When this food is done, the water will evaporate and the food will be perfect, nice and hot and really nutritious. So we put the stand in like that now. We put this in here. We put some uh, bit of celery in, some tomatoes and uh, carrots, cucumber, a bit of tomato and a baby sweet corn. And then we put those sausages I mentioned, the chicken ones only. Like this. Close the lid, make sure it's closed, turn it on. Now, because I gave you the cheat sheet before, I'm going to go by those guidelines. So, we're uh, on here now, and we press DIY. We're going to put it on uh, high for six minutes. And then we're going to press uh, cook, and that rotates now, so it's going to cook the food, and then we'll come back now to our finished product of delicious, nutritious food. So we'll come back to that in, uh, in about 10 to 15 minutes. 